Okay, here we go. This um, this video is going to be potentially a little bit brutal. I am going to have to be very honest with you guys. I almost feel like it's one of those moments in a film where the villain reveals who he really is. <laughs> well, not really. Um, okay, I'm not an INFP. I'm an INFJ. And I've got a feeling that maybe this video might piss a few people off because I've had so many people comment under my videos, especially when I've talked about being an INFP, um, or the one I made about being confused about being INFP, INFJ. And I had so many people comment that I was definitely an INFP. And said, so, oh, no, you're an INFP, I see it, you know, I agree with these things, and I understand, and I'm an INFP myself, and I can, I can relate. Here's the thing. If you ever wanted to meet someone who could convince you that they were something that they're not, guilty as charged. I'm ridiculously good at it because I've been doing it my whole goddamn life. It's kind of my survival mechanism and it's something that has almost become out of control. It just happens and it is literally something that, that to be honest, I've only become aware of recently when I've been getting more into MBTI and especially understanding the cognitive functions in more detail. It's also the reason I have been off the radar for the last month or so because uh, I've been in crazy hardcore introspective mode, hermit mode um, and also I've been on the verge of depression. Uh, well, fuck it, I, I have been depressed. <laughs> um, and the truth is because on one hand, I feel like I've been misleading people. Not intentionally, not that I mean to, but because I've been misleading myself and pulling the wool over my eyes for so many years now. Learning these cognitive functions about my MBTI and specifically the INFJ, because I've looked at both now, of INFP and INFJ, to try and figure this out, you know, trying to get to the heart of the matter. Uh, I have been literally hooked up to the internet like I've been attached to a ball and chain. I haven't been able to leave it alone. I've just gone nuts with information overload and uh, trying to figure this out. I've been googling like a madman. I've read everything on the internet now about INFP, INFJ to try and figure this shit out. And I finally understood it. I finally figured out what it all means. I finally got that final piece of the puzzle. And from the day that I made the video about being an INFP or so enthusiastic about it, and I stand by everything I say in that video, but I realise it, you know, it wasn't a completely true reflection of what I actually am, who I actually am. Because I've, this has been the biggest problem I've had my entire life in trying to home in on who I am or what I am. It is, I'm a walking contradiction. Anyone who really knows me will tell you the same thing, okay? And I feel like I've never actually ever been able to be or open myself up completely with anybody in my life. Even the people I consider my close friends, there is always this sense of I feel a bit disconnected from everything and everyone. Um, but I have become so good at being able to fit in and to merge and to change my personality, and it's almost uncanny how I can do it. It's, it's scary how I can do it, it scares myself how I can do it. And like I say, it's almost unconscious. It's not like I decide to do it. It's not like I want to do it. It's not like I'm trying to mislead people or, or whatever. It just happens. And because of that, and because I never have understood why until recently, still figuring this INFJ shit out, to figuring these cognitive functions out and not understanding it, it's caused me massive suffering, massive pain, um, and feeling like I've been living this half-life where... I have almost been disembodied from myself for so many years now. Um, and it's why I have to make this video, it's why I have to draw the line under this, um, and why I feel like I'm having to do it in a way that might come across as sounding a bit harsh, a bit stern, and almost a bit too direct. Because when I've tried to make this video in the past, I've been too worried about upsetting people, or, or misleading people, or not. Just I, I've been just too whimsical about, not whimsical, but I just haven't been able to really clarify it enough 
because I've been doing it in this way where I just fall back into the oh well yeah I think it's because of this and 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 because and it just completely changes my persona and it, it is misleading and again I don't mean it to be I have loved every goddamn comment I've read on these videos I have loved making these videos I've loved talking to people um, everyone who's subscribed to this channel people have messaged me from around the world um, but this thing has been the most crazy in-depth period in my life when it comes to finding out what, who I am. It has taken me to depths and, and levels of insight about my own nature that have been so profoundly relevant, it has been scary. Um, and I have to say right now, if you are into Myers-Briggs, if you've recently come into Myers-Briggs, if you have found this channel because of the video I made about being an INFP originally, because that was a, literally, I made that video the first time after I'd come across Myers-Briggs. I have to say, you need to look at cognitive functions. Lots of people kept on telling me, look at cognitive functions, look at cognitive functions. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I will, I will, but you know, I'm, I'm having fun identifying as, as this at the moment. It's, you know, I f think I've found my people, I think I've found my place in the world, it explains a lot of stuff. But I relented after realizing that there was something not right, that something didn't feel right, that there was something off. And I dived in uh, to cognitive functions and it's why I've just been away for so long um, to try and figure this shit out and I finally have. The reason I figured it out <laughs> was because I have been in a NITI loop on and off now for the last fucking 10 years, maybe even more. And also when I get stressed, when I feel down, when I feel out of control, when I feel like depressed, I get caught in SE like a motherfucker. Like that thing nearly kills me. I stopped looking after myself the, the past month or so since I, I made the la uh, last video on this channel. Like I kind of fell apart to be honest. I, I stopped exercising, I stopped eating healthy, I started binging on physical pleasure, like eating ridiculous amounts of chocolate and sugary things and junk food. I would have hot baths for no reason other than getting into hot water, the feeling of hot water. Um, I wouldn't sleep. I would almost push myself to my limits. And I knew the whole time it was crazy. I knew that this wasn't good. I knew this was unhealthy. I knew this was almost like sadist, sadism in a way. It was weird. And I couldn't get out of it. I was feeling trapped in it. I was seriously like, what the fuck is happening? And that is what helped me understand what I am in terms of the Myers-Briggs typology. It, what finally uncovered the last bits of the jigsaw for me in terms of cognitive functions. And since then I have been binging on information. I have been information overload googling like nobody's business to try and get to the heart of this. And I'm just like, whoa. You know, I, I think I need to chill out because I've, I've just had so much information coming into here. And I've realized, you know, being someone who has spent so much of their life, especially most of their 20s, being in the NITI loop, it explains everything, it explains so much now. Um, yeah, yeah. So I just have to make this video, and I'm sorry if it's come across as being a bit harsh or surprising is because I knew that if I was just going to upload a video and I was just like, hey guys, I've, I've been, um, I still, th I think I, I'm probably an INFJ because of this and that. I, people would have said, oh no, you're, you're an INFP. I'd be like, motherfucker, I'm not an INFP. <laughs> I'm an INFJ. And I know it sounds ridiculous. I know it. That's what I said. It sounds like I've been so convincing as, as almost playing the perfect INFP in those other videos I've uploaded. And it, it's, it's because that's what I believed, you know? That's what I honestly believed and I thought, and it made sense. And so much of the INFP persona I love and the characteristics I love, and I would be happy to be an INFP if, if that's what I was. But there was something that was massively missing in my makeup and explaining other things. And I only managed to figure that out by looking at cognitive functions and also realizing huge areas of my life now where I've been living out of alignment and it's been 
pretty goddamn humbling, um, to be honest. So, yeah, um, I could go on at length <laughs> to back this up, I really could, but I won't because I won't keep you guys any longer, um, and I'll just I'll just calm down a bit. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. I don't want to come across as like a complete psycho. <laughs> um, okay. I'll be making more videos. I know I say this at the end of the every video, but now I know my shit. Now I know what <laughs> I can talk about. Um, I really will, because there's so many other things that I want to talk about in depth. And also, to clarify all of this, so it doesn't just sound like I've just gone nuts and crazy, and I'm just like, I just want to be an INFJ because they sound cool and they're rare. It's nothing to do with that. Um, so I'll try and clarify this if you're interested, okay? Um, so people have been commenting recently on all the videos I uploaded and they've been a great help to me, especially Ergon, um, you know who you are mate, thank you, you've been very helpful. Um, and there's lots of other people that I need to give shout outs to on other areas of the internet who have really helped me get down to this. Um, but I'll leave that for other videos. Thank you guys for watching this, um, hope it hasn't come as too much of a shock, especially if you really have identified me as an INFP yourself. Um, I'm probably going to have to go back to that video now, the INFP one, and, and change the description about it. Um, even though I stand by everything I say in that video, because I think it's strongly descriptive and prevalent of NF types. Um, and another reason I think this has been so hard for me to type myself, and because I'm so... I have so much sensitivity within me. Um, I mean, if you're interested in astrology, I'm a Cancer Ascendant. Um, I've got Sun in Gemini, Moon in Pisces. Um, I think I'm pretty damn sure I'm a HSP as well, a highly sensitive person, um, which I think allows me to so easily appear like I'm an INFP because it's like the perfect, sensitive, caring, empathetic, compassionate type there is in Myers-Briggs, like the ultimate of, of nice person, of, of lovely, cuddly amazingness, um, and cute and, and wonderful. But there is a whole other side to me of that it doesn't really relate to those things, or, or, does, or it's different, you know? Um, and I'm going to have to go into depth and detail to explain that to you guys, because this is only something that I've started to come to terms with myself after years and years of self-repression. Years, going right back to when I was a, a kid. So there we go. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon. I hope you're having a very lovely Easter. Cheers.